In this video, we are going to see how to send Learnist transaction details to Google Sheets. So let's say that you are using Learnist as an online teaching platform. And here, every time a particular course is purchased or a student has enrolled for a particular course, then the details of that purchase you want to store in your Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between Learnist and your spreadsheet and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Learnist and your action application would be Google Sheets. Now, every time a purchase is made, automatically the details would be added in your Google Sheet as a new row. How can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pavli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are the new user, click on this tab sign up, it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached the all applications page. Now here we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using the Pabli Connect application. So once we do that, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And this dialog box is asking us to name our workflow. Now here, what is my objective? My objective is that every time a transaction happens in Learners, then the details of that transaction should be sent to my Google Sheet. So I'm going to name it as Send Learners Transaction Details to Google Sheet. Now I'm going to click on Create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. So triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now what is my objective here? My objective is that every time there is a transaction that happens on Learnist, then the information should go to Google Sheet. So here my trigger application would be Learnist. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So basically this is the event that will make my workflow start. So I'm going to click on this and then here I'm going to select purchase. So this event is triggered when learner purchases a product. So I'm going to click on this. Now we have received a webhook URL. Basically, this is going to act as a bridge for connecting Learnist with Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information which we have received here in Learnist. So I'm going to copy this. Once I do that, here we have to follow the following steps for the connection to set up. Now I'm going to take you to my Learnist account. I have already logged in there. So once we are here, we have to go to marketing. Then we have to go to integrations. Then we have to go to Pabli. And here our objective is purchase. So, so I'm going to click on this, then add URL. So this webhook URL that we have just received, I'm going to copy this, go back to our Learnist account. And here I'm going to paste this. Once done, let's click on test and save. So here we can see that the event has been created successfully. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to recapture the webhook response. As I do that, it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Now what I'm going to do is I have already created a page. Here it is. And now I'm going to do a transaction, basically purchase this product. So I'm going to click on this. And here I'm going to click on buy now. Then here I have to create my account. So let's say the account is admin054 at pavlitudes.com. Then I have a password. I'm going to click on sign up. So as I do that, here it is asking me to pay. Let's click on this. And now we have to provide the details. So let's say the phone number is this. Let's click on proceed. Let's select the card. Here I have the card details. These are the mock card details. And now I'm going to click on pay now. So as I do that here, it is asking me to choose whether to make this payment successful or not. Let's click on success. 
and here we can see that the payment has been made successfully as soon as this has happened let's go back to public connect to see if we have received the webhook response and here we can see that yes we have received the webhook response so the api response received has the username then we have the user email address the transaction id then we have the name of the product as we go down we have the price of the product and then we have the date of creation here the date of creation received is not in a general format so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the format of this date why because i want to store this information in google sheets and if i inculcate the date in this format it would not be easier for my team to understand so i'm going to choose my next application which is a feature by pably date time formatter let's click on this and the action event here would be format date only as i only wish to have the date let's click on connect now here we have to map the date mapping basically means that i have this date in the previous step i'm just going to retrieve it here and mapping helps in inculcating the new data every time the workflow runs if i write this manually it will only take the manually written data and it will never take the new data so i'm going to click on this and how do we map we have to go to the initial step and then here we have the date now this format is exactly in the same format as given in from format and now the two formats so as i click on this the two format is date month and year you can select the format you wish to have let's click on save and send test request and here i have the date once done i want to inculcate this information in my google sheet so i'm going to click on add action step and here i'm going to choose the application google sheets let's click on this the action event here would be to add new row let's click on connect here public connect is asking to connect itself with the google sheets account to set up this connection we are going to choose add new connection then sign it with google and here we have to choose the account with which we have created our google sheet so once selected I'm going to go down and provide it the access. Let's click on continue so that the authorization can be successful. And here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Google Sheets is now connected with Pably Connect. Here, once done, we have to map this information. So the name of the spreadsheet and the sheet has already been captured by the system. Now we have to map this information. So I'm going to click on Learner go to step 1 and here is the name then we have the email address here is the email address then we have the course name so here is the name of our course amount paid so here is the amount and finally the enrollment date for this i'm going to go to step 2 this is the date let's click on save and send test request and here we have received the api response which basically means that this information should now become a part of my google sheet so let's go to our sheet i'm going to quickly refresh this page and here you can see that yes we have received this information let me change the color here and yes here it is which basically means that this integration is a success but we also need to check this in real time so i'm going to take you back to the page where we can make the payment i'm going to go back to store let's log out and here i'm going to make another payment let's click on buy now here let's say this is the new email id is admin111 at pablitudes.com let's sign up so as i do that here i'm going to make the payment so let's select the phone number proceed i'm going to make my payment through card let's fill in the details the cvv number and pay now so this has to be a success and here we can see that the payment has been successful as soon as this payment has been made what should happen the information should become a part of my google sheet so let me take you to my google sheet and yes here we have received the information this time the name of the learner is this this is the email address the course is absolutely same amount is same enrollment date is also same i hope this is very much clear to you So now taking you back to Pably Connect let's quickly understand what we have done so this is an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application is learnest the trigger event is purchase the action application here first is date time formatter which is a feature by Pably 
we have used this to format the date and the final action application is Google Sheets where the event is to add new rule. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of this video. Also, you can clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.